My name is Gulwali Pasale, uh, which means uh, in Pashto, flower, friend of God, spring. I was born in Afghanistan uh, many, many years ago. Um, actually, this was during the, the Taliban uh, takeover of Afghanistan. But after the age of four till the age of seven, I lived with my grandparents in the mountains as a shepherd. I had a beautiful lifestyle. It was very peaceful and tranquil. And then unfortunately, the war started, the US-led invasion. And then life became hell. Our homes became a war zone, and we lived in constant fear of, of death, of bombings and bombardments. When I was age 10 and 11, when most of my male family members were either in prison or disappeared or fortunately killed. Me and my two years older brother also were in charge of the, the family businesses. And I ran my own shop. I was selling things which was necessary for making clothes because two of my uncles were tailors and we had a, uh, in, in the bazaar in the town, I uh, had a small shop of selling threads and selling, you know, buttons and stuff. And so from an early age, I feel like I was, I was quite entrepreneurial. I think a lot of children, a lot of refugee children, uh, smart and intelligent in that sense of how to support their families and how to manage uh, businesses. You become an adult before you're an adult. I feel guilty, I feel a sense of uh, sadness uh, within me that I had to flee and leave. And again, it was not my choice. It was the decision of my mother and my family members who obviously, for obvious reasons, didn't want to bury another of her loved ones. I never imagined uh, going to school and then ended up getting 10 GCCs. That just shows the determination, the hard work and commitments that I put in. Because the teachers believed in me, I couldn't let them down. But also I wanted to prove it to myself that I was a smart kid. Yes, English was my fifth language, so what? I could still do it. You know, going to college and doing my A-levels again, I, I struggled. It was really hard. But getting to the University of Manchester was in itself a huge achievement for me, something I'm very, very proud of. I wake up every day I want to give something to Britain because I'm so grateful for being allowed to be here for all the opportunities in education but also a lot of refugees hate to be home doing nothing and to be on benefits. They don't want to be a burden. They want to be the ones who want to create opportunities. If we give the right support and guidance and help and direct them to the right source, refugees have, have really brilliant ideas and, and visions and, and dreams and they really want to make a success of it, you know. I feel in the UK it's very difficult for refugees to start businesses uh, or to, to participate in, in economic activities because of our perceptions, because of our assumptions. So it does make me angry and frustrated, but that's why I complain, that's why I do what I do, that's why I speak up and give a voice to the voiceless and, and give a human face to the numbers and statistics through my book and through my work. Every opportunity that came along the way, I took it and I learned from it. Every day I wake up for the last five, six years, I have not wasted a day and I want to continue to leave a legacy that I have done my part to make the world a better place.